What's up, everybody? We got Black B. Don't leave. So just based on the name of the song and the fact that it starts out black and white with the vertical hangul, that usually means we're going to get something on the sadder side of things. But maybe I'll be proven wrong. Let's go. Let's see what we got. Oh. I like the frame rate. Yeah, you can hear the uh, emotion. Oh, and those pianos. The piano keys that are being pressed. Those notes. A wintry song. Fits the mood. Looks like it's filmed at like, uh... Maybe it's my screen. That's a really colorful shot. And those are awesome blues and reds they got with the mix of purple. And his voice! Do you really need both a candelabra and a light on there? The wax that's gonna get all over that beautiful piano. That's cool. The shredded, like, project, or it's just a printed out image. City bus. I like that. He can rock that neck tattoo. It's a bat. You can hear it, and as the name sounds, don't leave. Wait, why is Block B singing this? Don't be talking about yourselves. Is there something I missed? You staying? Or is it like a storyline? This is the her we heard in her that they're talking about. End of an era. Oh my God, hope not. Hey. Mm. Preach! I read the lyrics beforehand. <laughs> See, Denim on Denim's coming back too. Oh no, it is the end of it there. Well, the girl, maybe? You gotta move on. Surf in the city. I really like that that shot. That This shot is such a cool shot. The end of a party. Don't leave. Someone moving out. Her turning into plants. Or the seeds that she planted in that apartment are like memories. Huh? Oh. Oh! That's like the what if, like the parallel universe. Or what happened in the past. The last hurrah to remember her by, to let go of her. You gotta go out with a bang. This is actually... Right His voice. Listen to how powerful that is. Like very bassy too. See, so what YouTube does is it likes to, when a song ends, put like little windows of the other ones. And right now I have Yesterday coming up and it's all bright and colorful and they're smiling. They're so versatile with their music. They know how to just be high energy if they want, which is what got me into them. But at the same time, stay down to earth and, you know, make you feel like they're feeling or want you to feel in a wintry song, which is colder, maybe not as high energy, relaxed, sad. Time to go inside, have some hot chocolate. You know, that kind of feeling. One thing though about Block B is the fact that it's always very artistic with their visuals. And they cut between these scenes that are very black and white, but at the same time go between these scenes that maybe aren't the most intense in color, but for example, the one with the piano with the candelabra on it, uh, it goes from these deep, deep blues and deep 
purples and reds um, and really has these little things that stand out like the yellow surfboard. And these all may be references to old Block B songs. Um, I kind of hope it's not because then what I said earlier may be closer to what I think. And I really, I, you know, I'm, we're going to take that idea out of my head and throw it out. I don't want that. They're still able to convey the emotion that they always want to, regardless of how it is. These groups, I like to say that they have improved over time. Like you can see them change and get better, but it's kind of hard for me to say that about Block B. And the reason I say it like that is because I think they've been this talented since the beginning. For me, the beginning was her. And even that, like cinematically watching it was a masterpiece. Like the way they did things was amazing. It was supposed to be an absurd kind of music video. And it goes all the way to absurdity with the ostrich. Like I still remember that because of how ridiculous it is, but it's so memorable and it so fits the mood of that song. Black Bee historically will just have these wonderful hits that will always make you remember some part of them. And regardless if it's the vocals, the lyrics, the message they're trying to convey will stick with you. And I think that's what's really important is they're able to really musically get across emotionally what they're trying to. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe, it really helps. And until next time, peace.